basketball is something that's provided an opportunity to really not only have a whole lot of fun, but shape lives in the process. As a player, it was always more than basketball. It was about accountability, communication, teamwork. It was never about wins and losses. It was always about hard work and discipline and faith. That's what Garth has oriented himself toward. It's hard for me to think about Rochester University without thinking about Garth Plaza. This has been my dream job. I've been able, through God working through this institution, to be able to work with young people like this. I'm indebted. Thank you. What's really crazy to think about is Coach Pleasant won all those championships and he never had a gym. One of the things Garth has said to me is, I never apologized for what we didn't have. I mean, he built from scratch an incredible basketball program that I would argue is known throughout the region and he built it with almost nothing. I think there's a misconception that my dad is a basketball junkie. I don't think my dad's a basketball junkie. I think my dad's a people junkie. We won a lot of games, we were really good, but it's bigger than basketball for Garth. I mean, there's just so many stories of people that he coached that are better today because of it. This thing was always, I'll tell you how good this team was in, in 20 or 30 years, uh, when I can see what kind of fathers and husbands and members of society you are. This was his ministry. To me, that, that's the legacy. It's, it's not gonna be, oh, look at that banner, or it's not gonna be, did you see how many wins? And then someone looking at someone saying, listen, I can point to a, a time and place when my life changed, and the person behind that was this guy named Garth. That's legacy.